Hey, I'm Nick Hawks with Gristle King, walking you through how to use Discord for Helium. Let's jump into this thing. Here we go. So when you get to the Discord server uh, for Helium or for any project, you usually come in through Arrivals. Sometimes there is a welcome channel, um, could be whatever. But right here, here we are in Arrivals. You can see all the people who've come in. On the left side here, the far left, up and down, are all of the servers as well as some of the DMs that I'm a part of. So you can see here's DM up here. Uh, we just had state of the network. So I'm talking with Ann at Bobcats. So that's a DM she wants me to respond to because there's a little red one here. Um, but you can see the servers I'm in as well. Here's the Helium server. Here's the Gristle King server. Here's the GeoNet server, the Pollen server, the WeatherXM server, the Helium Foundation server, etc. down the line. Inside each server are a bunch of channels. So here we are in the Helium, geez, here we are in the Helium server. And the channels here, um, we're starting in arrivals. There are announcements as well. So we can go up to announcements, click on it, and you'll see what the latest is. You'll see who made the announcement, what they're talking about, and whether you have questions about what's happening with the blockchain or just general or the foundation, etc. It's all there. So that's how to navigate that side. Um, typically on Discord, this is just kind of me personally, I'll cruise into general and see what's going on. Usually it's a little bit of trash talk. It's some fun stuff. It's people generally having a good time. And then the other thing that you can um, use this thing for, whoops, is to search things out. And you'll hear me and a lot of other folks on YouTube or in the blogs or Twitter or whatever say, make sure you search the Discord. Well, this is how you search the Discord. You go up to the search channel, click on it. It'll give you a bunch of different ways to search. So sometimes if I get mentioned, I'll just go to mentions because I'll have to find it, put in my own name, Gristle King, and look for whatever the latest mentions are. And those mentions pop up here. So if I need to respond to someone and I just see a, a red dot somewhere, but it's way back up in the comments, this is the easiest way to find it. Um, more useful for you is not finding where people have tried to tag you and, and want your opinion on something is you may have a search that you want to do. And you can see my recent searches here, um, Antenna DBI, Terms of Service, whatever. Let's say you have a question about Antenna DBI. You can just type it in here. And I found on search, you don't always get what you want the first time. Sometimes you have to try a couple different terms, but this Antenna DBI term um, turned up a bunch of terms. And so here we are. Um, high DBI again, you know, what's the antenna? If you wanted to look for, hey, has anyone used LMR, um, LMR 400? You just type it in here and see see what's going on there. And you can you know obviously type in any question you want, but just use the search bar. You'll find all of the things that you are all the answers to the questions you have. Um, it is very unlikely after a year and a half or almost two years of being on Discord that your question is unanswered. Um, but sometimes it is. Sometimes you're brand new or you, you ask a question that hasn't been answered before ask a question that hasn't been answered before and you're the first to kind of bring up the topic and that's a really good thing, but use use the search. The other thing that um, I will, I'll show you that I, I find pretty useful outside of kind of laughing around in general is if you've got a question, um, usually I'd say search first. If you have searched and can't find it, ask it in here. You'll see some really active folks in here answering a lot of questions. There's a ton of channels on the Helium server as well as a lot of other servers, but we're going to focus on the Helium server for now. A lot of questions that I get asked are answered in antennas and also in enclosures and off-grid. Uh, yeah, you got a little cameo by Soren there. Um, so if you have questions about putting your stuff off-grid, I've got a ton of questions about that, or I've had a ton of questions about that. Usually you can find your answer first here or ask it right here. The other thing that I think is pretty cool that people don't um, realize is cruising down and looking for where the sensors are. So in this case, it's up in sensor usage. So if you have questions about using a sensor, pretty obviously go to sensor usage and also sensor dev. If you can't get a sensor working, you're having problems, the folks in sensor dev are really helpful, I'm really experienced and are willing to make sure that you kind of figure out what's going on. There's a ton of information in here. So that's, um, that's it. That should be how to use Discord and how to get most of your questions answered. The thing on, I think I showed you DMs, um, here, so here's what all my DMs are. You can see I was talking to Bobcat Marketing and talking with Dave and Bobcat and blah, blah, blah. Um, is here's someone who reached out to me who knows what Forest PC wanted to say. I don't know when they last did it, but this is what the DMs look like. Anyone uh, where you haven't talked to them yet, there's going to be a little red one next to it. And that should be pretty straightforward as far as how the thing works. Sometimes people don't respond to your DMs. Um, I don't know what Forest PC was saying to me, but I'm not going to respond to that. And sometimes people keep DMs closed. I don't, but um, know that if you have your DMs open, you'll probably be a target for scammers. You will never see a DM that is legitimate saying, hey, give me your 12 words. Those are all scams. 
um, a DM that says, hey, let me log, you know, log into your wallet using this link. That's a scam. Like I wouldn't trust DMs a bunch. So make sure you have a, a good kind of understanding of who you think you're talking to. And if you're not sure, if you're like, oh, I think I'm talking to BFG Neil, um, don't be tricked by you know, something else is make sure that you ask in public, like, hey, BFG Neil, is that you DMing me? And then he'll pretty instantly say like, nope, that is a scammer. Don't don't listen to that. So always check the DMs in public. I've got burned to that, burned by that before. Uh, I lost 40 grand in a, a scam that totally got me. I don't want the same thing to happen to you. So just be careful on the DMs. But the rest of Discord is generally super helpful. All the public facing stuff is really helpful. And that should give you a good idea of how to use Discord and make sure you get your questions answered as quickly as possible by the community. Community. Rock and roll. If you have any questions about Helium or about blockchain and meat space projects, I'd love to help you out. Check out the gristleking.com blog. If you want to join the inner circle of folks paying attention to what is going on in blockchain and meat space and Helium. So whether that is Helium or GeoNet or Pollen or WeatherXM or DM, Demo or Metrics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can see down the left side of my screen, all the channels there. Um, I answer those questions the fastest over in the Gristle crew. If you've got questions about that, jump on gristleking.com, look for the Gristle crew and sign up. Okay, that's all I got for now. Have a radical day and it's a Friday, so have a rad weekend. Rock and roll.